So where's my bike? I've been waiting for it. I've had it ordered since last October when I put a deposit down to get myself in line. And I was supposedly the first order that my dealer placed. But we're now a few weeks past the announcement and I'm still waiting for my bike. So I've been uh, watching uh, on the Harley Davidson website and learned a few things about their new feature of browsing inventory. Let's dig into it. From the main page of the website, you'll go to bikes and then down here you have browse inventory, supposedly a new feature. Uh, some, I seem to remember doing this in the past. And then uh, it shows my, my dealer is here. And if you go to filters, you can go to model and then see the models. Now the roguelite has not been on the list until it just showed up. So I actually got a little heads up from the dealer that my bike had been invoiced. And I would say 24, a little over 24 hours later, it showed up here. So if I hit this and view results, you can see the roguelite is listed. So that means the bike has shipped. It doesn't mean it's in the dealer. And then I've also learned once the bike sells, it may hang out on this website for a little while. It may be a little intentional just to draw interest to that dealer. So if you're searching for a bike, you can set that filter. But if you, if you click here, you can uh, change your location. So it's got this zip code, but it starts with 50 miles. So you, you can go larger, go only to 75 miles. I wish it would go a little further. And if we look, this is the only road glide within 75 miles of my location. So if you do hit the filter though, again, you can see if any other models popped up that you were looking for that weren't on the list. So the street glide was not there and now it is. So if we click the street glide, view those results, we can see that Thunder Mountain Harley Davidson has the street glide. So my bike is on the way. And in this video, I want to show you a few things to think about before you uh, either sell or trade yours that you might want to do before turning your bike in. So a couple of things to think about before you sell your bike or trade it in. Uh, you first of all, want to make sure you get off any accessories that you plan to keep. Like in this case, I'm going to keep my highway peg uh, mount, mounting points. And then if you're an avid follower, I just did a video on removing the exhaust system because I wanted to keep my aftermarket header pipe. Because I do think it fits on the new bike, so I plan to keep it and use it. But a couple other things. On the new modern touring bikes, you have a few things electronically you may want to think about. So have you paired your phone to your bike? Does it have your contacts on your bike? You might want to delete those. Did you set a security pin? So do you want that pin to be known by someone else? Maybe not, so clear that security pin. And then do you have a, a helmet headset? Might as well disconnect that from the bike before you hand it over. So let's dig into how to do those things. So to reset the pin, we're gonna turn the bike on, off, on, off, on, left turn signal twice. And now we're receiving enter pin. Push the right, and you can see the current pin is displayed. So now you would advance the left turn signal to change the number. There's one, press it again, two, and then to advance the spot, you would press the right turn signal. You proceed all the way through to get the pin that you want, and then you simply shut off the bike. Okay, we're going to disconnect our headset from this bike as well as uh, the iPhone I have paired to it. So we'll go up to the home screen, go over to setup. From there, you're going to scroll down, scroll down, and there's wireless headset. So you can see we have the rider headset and a passenger headset, which I actually don't have paired, but we'll click the manage rider headset. And there it is, the Boom Audio 20S. We will simply forget it. Okay, so now both say pair versus manage. 
So we know nothing's connected. We'll go backwards. And we'll go to Bluetooth and then list paired devices. From here, you can see my iPhone is connected. And so we can delete this pairing. We'll delete that. And now your headset and your phone is no longer connected to the bike. So my bike is here and my sales guy, Rich, was really nice to give me a quick video of it coming off the truck and a few pictures of it being unloaded. Really nice of him to share. So there you have it. There's what I'm thinking about as I go to trade my Road Glide in for the new one. And on the next video, we should have the bike.